Urgent fan look what just happened. Nobody was waiting for that. First, already subscribe to the channel. Because there's a video every day with the latest news from the Yankees and in order to not miss anything, don't forget to turn on the notification bell. The New York Yankees are taking a patient approach with pitcher Carlos Rodon, especially with his agent, Scott Boris, trying to extract more money in free agency. Rodon is looking for a deal that lasts more than six years, but the Yankees are willing to settle for just four or five. In the scenario where Rodon ends up signing elsewhere, the Yankees could turn their sights on the best infielder left in the market, Carlos Correa. If the Bombers ended up taking a shot at Correa, he would resolve his shortstop position for years at just 28 years old. Considering the team has Oswald Peraza and Anthony Volpe scaling the system and ready to make an impact in 2023, they'll have plenty of resources to smooth over a unit that has struggled in the past. Eventually, Correa could end up switching to second base once Volpe takes over full-time, which makes Peraza a perfect trading piece for an outfielder like Brian Reynolds of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Defensively, Korea is known as one of the most consistent players in his position. Over 1,113.1 innings last season as a shortstop, he posted a 983 fielding percentage with 8 errors and 48 turnovers. He had an above average 3 defensive runs saved, but posted 20 defensive runs saved with the Houston Astros in 2021. Yankees fan wants YouTube to continue recommending the latest Yankees news to you, so it is very important that you already like this video. It cost! Let's continue with the news. Korea is reportedly looking for a deal in the range of 10 years and $345 million, but the Yankees are probably not willing to give him that length. It's possible they'll sign him for a big deal of money in shorter years to try and move on after competing for a World Series in the immediate future. Reports indicating the Yankees have an interest in a big-name signing like Korea are likely a tactic to try to force Rodon's hand. It's hard to imagine them bringing in Judge, Rodon, and Korea in an offseason. Boris has already named some of his final stops to try and grow Rodon's market, including an alleged mystery team that probably doesn't exist. The last time Boris used this strategy was with Garrett Cole, who signed with the Yankees shortly thereafter. And now Yankees fan I want to hear from you. What is your opinion about this? Put your opinion in the comments. I don't know if you know, but your opinion is very important to the Yankees at any time I'll be back with another news from the Yankees.